heard lots of people talk about what a great game this is, and this has been sitting on my shelf for a while. Just have not had the chance. So we're gonna take a look at it. There's not a lot in the box. I mean, it's not a lot to it. So roughly six pages. And here are uh, character cards with their abilities. Uh, how to do the victory points. So about three to four pages of actual gameplay instruction. There is the main board that goes in the middle of the table. And it's decent quality. You can see it's, I took it out of the box and it's already starting to fray there if you can see it. Let me see if I can get it to uh, focus in there. It's already starting to fray on the corner. Taking it straight out of the box, haven't done anything with it. But looks good. Just have to be careful with that. And hmm, three to four players or two players. That's why there's only two spots and you have to pay to go there after someone else. So there we go. Lots of cool little colored meeples. And these are nice, thick quality. Yeah. And they don't have green in here with the red. They have the purple. So a little hard to show up there on the camera, but you can tell it's it almost looks black, but it is purple. And it at least is distinguishable from the others. But nice quality, nice thickness, and they feel good. And then it's just cards. It's just a big deck of cards. So we got this useless little insert. It will do the job, but eh, box is a lot bigger than it had to be. You could have done this in half the space and then nothing else made this fold in half. Oh well. Deck of cards has a nice little starter on it. That's nice. Let's take a look at the uh, thickness, zoom in a little bit, focus. There we go, very thin. And it has color right to the edges. So if you do a lot of shuffling, you'll have to be careful uh, that you don't mark the cards. But let's take a look at some of these. So these are some of the characters. Pretty cool artwork. Lots of iconography, so uh, iconography. So I'm, I'm sure that's why the uh, back page of the uh, instructions has all of the characters on it. All right. Then, if you notice, you have starter cards. So that would be the red player. This would be the yellow player. So you have wood, wood stone, wood stone brick, wood stone brick, or gems. And it looks like it's going to be the same for every color. So you have that in all four colors. Then you have this here. Not sure what that is, but looks like a starter card of some sort. And the rest of the cards have dual functionality. So the back of them is worth one coin and then the other side has the buildings that you can build and if you notice this has roads up and down so you have to place it this would be illegal but this would be okay because the roads join and meet and then this would be okay so there we go there's plenty of duplicates of different buildings just some of them have slightly different requirements there we go so not a lot to it so this uh, will probably go into a setup as well since there's not a lot to look at in the unboxing all right thanks for checking that out I'm gonna quickly run through the setup we're gonna play a three-player game so I'm just going to return the purple to the box since it doesn't show up on camera as well as these. This will be the recess uh, resource board. We'll use the three 
or four player side and we'll set it off to the side there for now. Then you have the bell faction or guild. We have the mask. We have the rooster. And we have the floor de lure. Floor de lee. And in a three player game, you're going to randomly remove one from each. Okay. So we'll start by doing that. In a two player game, you would actually remove two, but we're going to remove simply one of each builder's guild and return them to the box without looking. Now, I will move these out of the way. This will be the town square, which is weird. I mean, usually a town square or a town center is like a town center and it's in the center of the town. But in this game, you will never build, a, this will be the uh, north border of the town. We'll never build above it. We'll only build uh, below and to the sides. This will go somewhat in the middle of the table. Then, Shuffle this up. And it's not a huge deal if they get a little scuffed. Um, and you'll see as we play because they're used both sides. This is a coin, this is a, a building. So it doesn't really matter, but uh, we will set these here since we'll never build up here this can be the building offer. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. That will be there uh, for if we need to draw uh, money, we just draw from there and set it in front of us like such. And if we take a building, we take one of those. This will be our town square, I guess you call it. These, we will now there we go. And these will be off camera down here. I will move the camera as we play. But that's pretty much it to set up. Uh, everyone gets all nine tokens in their color and the four worker cards. You set up the board like this, uh, always six buildings no matter the number of players, and then this, two players or three, four, and then uh, the offer of workers from the guilds depending on the number of players. Okay, well, uh, not a lot in the box and not a lot to the setup, so we'll come back and uh, you can... Check me on my next video. I'm going to do a three-player playthrough of the game.